Machines by the door! Take out that gun, Tally. I'm on it. Signal the shuttle. Commander Shepard. Jordan didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. Non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. 
What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Commander? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander.
Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. My old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Op. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crap action. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. I gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Be careful out there. Everything is in order. Everything is in order.
I still can't believe you went inside again. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them, or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight, in the battle space. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Cause she keeps me out. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Ellers. Let me know when we do. Cerberus found her during a citadel coup. Shot her where she stood. Oh, that's terrible. She seemed really nice. What if we'd gone back to Cerberus? Your gut saved us, Gabby. Commander. Commander. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Commander. Commander. I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Feel free to look around. Feel free to look around. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right... 
right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Dad, I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Good to see you. Nice work down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? Shepard? Watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers, whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep him safe from the Geth, and themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> 